the skies have opened and it's starting to rain in good old London. Not sure what's happening anywhere else where you are sitting right now, but it's a good thing because the last couple of days have been a little bit, um, how can I say, crazy due to the amount of people that have been outside, parading around, frolicking in parks, just, you know, really skirting the laws when it comes to staying indoors. And, you know, it got me really angry. Not really. I don't really give a shit, to be honest. Um, I think the whole people getting angry because... <sighs> Maybe it's the hipster. It's the hipster part of me, you know, that hasn't died since the old days. But there is a part of me that's like, when everyone jumps on this bandwagon and trying to take the piss out of people that go outside and you know whining and complaining online, stay in, stay in, stay at home, stay the fuck home. All that sort of shit. I get a bit over it. I'm like, you know what? You guys need to jog on, relax, take it easy. It's not that serious. Um, we're all human. We all understand the need for people to go outside. It's not as if they're trying to go out and attend a nightclub somewhere. You know, or fucking, you know, break into a cinema. They're just trying to go outside and get some fresh air, maybe see some people. Uh, or just, or I even thought the other day, maybe some people are just going outside just so they can get into an argument with some random person in Morrison's, right? Some random fucking dude at Tesco's who bumps into you in the aisle or who stands too close to your fucking M&M. You just want to have a little route and just get a little bit of, you know, um, personal uh, and physical energy shared between you and this stranger in the store. Some people might just want to do that. So I think some people need to get off their high horse, leave those people alone. If they want to go outside, if they want to, you know, do what they want to do, let them do it. I think what's more important, but then it goes to show just, you know, in this social media age that we live in, people are more concerned about what other people are not doing as opposed to what you should be doing. If you're staying indoors and you're avoiding all the necessary things, you're making all good precautions, you're wearing a face mask when you do as go outside, you're making sure you don't touch your face, washing your hands, all that blah, 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 blah stuff. Why should you worry about what people are doing? Why should it be any of your concern? I wouldn't give a fucking fuck, but I think it's those kind of, um, you know, uh, busybodies who, when they see a, someone fighting outside, they try and stop it. It's like you don't know what that person's carrying in their hand. You don't know what they're beef, where they're beefing about. There might be, there might be a reason why. You know, some friends are allowed to just fight. You know, let's just swing, come to blow sometimes, just to get some steam off. And here you come, Mister Busybod, trying to break up things. Hey guys, and stop being, stop being so aggressive. And then you get sparks in the face, and all of a sudden you're laid at flat out cold in the front of Liverpool Street Station with your fucking Gucci loafers on the other side of the road. It doesn't make any sense. Just you know, keep mind your own business. It's the same way everyone's saying stay home, hashtag stay the fuck home. Mind your fucking business. People are going outside, let them do it. It's their business. Who cares, right? Do you know what I mean? It's not gonna impact you anyway, show up your form. As long as all your family members and people that you love are inside and they're obeying the rules, everything should be fine. And anyway, if they want to go outside, let them. Who cares, man? Like and as well as part of me that's the, there's a part there is a part of me that's a little bit like, you know, who are these media outlets so that are sending their, you know, photojournalists out to take these incredibly high res, long range pictures of people in parks hanging around doing, you know, park things. Like who does that, right? Going and snitching on your fellow put in your on your fellow countrymen and publishing these photos and papers. Who who thinks that's a good occupation? Imagine that being your job. Disgusting, isn't it? Like for, for all the wrong that they're doing, don't get me wrong, but like going around taking pictures of people with your fucking DSLR. Well, look at them, they're in the park. That is some bitch thing, isn't it? Like, come on. Ugh. But I guess this whole epi- this whole pandemic has really brought out, it's kind of heightened, it's kind of allowed people who are a little bit, you know, whiny and complainy to have a, you know, you have a, you have a reason to be that way now, isn't it? Because we're in a position that everyone's kind of been inconvenienced. So when inconvenience comes along, also, the kind of whiny, bitchy person raises ugly head. The person that complains a lot has a perfect reason to complain and to kind of moan and to bitch and to whine and to snitch. And this is the perfect avenue for them. And look what they're doing. They're out here fucking texting people, texting newspapers, informing journalists on Twitter about what's going on. So, like, ugh, get some self respect, man. And anyway, like, I don't know. I, I, like, I care so little about what other people are doing that it just fascinates me how people could care so much i guess i'm on the other, other side of the, of the aisle do you know what i mean i just don't understand how you could give that much of that much of a toss about people that have nothing to do with your life but you know 